Hello. Hello. In you come. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Lily. Hi, Julie. It's like I'm doing the register. <laughs> How is everyone? Come to Qatar. I wish we could. I mean, it would have been perfect if we'd gone in the past uh, few weeks. Could have watched a few games. Very sad about the result the other day. Very sad. Oh. Hello, Natasha. <laughs> um, I just wanted to jump on and just see how everyone was. Um, we just got to London uh, today to do, just have had a few meetings, got a few sessions this week, which is exciting. Very jet lagged, I only got in literally not even 24 hours ago. So feeling the jet lag, but it's our tour manager Ben's little birthday celebration tonight. So we're gonna go see him. How's Sula? My mum is all good. She's fine, thank you. Hadn't seen her for ages, so it was really nice to see see her. And it was my sister Abby's birthday yesterday. Um, but no, just wanted to to really check in and see how everyone was. I haven't done a live in probably a month, so I know it's. Uh, coming into the end of the year so really kind of just wanted to um just see what you guys are wanting next year do you have any things you'd like to see us do any ideas for us to try things um just kind of hear hear your thoughts and if you've got nothing no worries no worries just just thought I'd throw it out there and see how everyone was. Um, US tour, Gray says. That is definitely a must. It's got to happen. Latin America tour. I mean, it's been forever since we've been to... Um, all, all those places over there, you know. So, we'll try and make that happen too. So, we're going to try and see as, you know, come to as many places uh, next year. I think we really... It was obviously tough during COVID. And then yeah, last year, or well, this year, was uh, kind of, you know, getting back into that touring life. Um, but next year, I mean... We've got to go for it, so yeah, we'd love to. Uh, we'd love to come back to Latin America and uh, do a tour there. Um, album next year, yes. We will make that happen too, hopefully. Um, the Asia tour. Mhm, mm that is currently all being planned we discussed that in our meeting um canada for sure i know we did a u.s tour and we didn't go to to canada so i think that should be a part of the uh the america tour definitely we're in Canada. Obviously, we played Toronto. We played a show in Vancouver before. Calgary, Edmonton, I think. We'll go wherever you guys want us to go, let's be honest. So, just make enough noise about it online and I'm sure we can make it happen. What 
will you guys make any video like making cake cookie like mm. yeah we i know we usually do our christmas baking whatever it is challenge yearly actually came up today so we were like uh we we're like we know we need to do that so we'll try and get that done next week i think Hello, Jonah. How are we? Been a while. Miss you. Miss you very much. NHC TV. Mmm. Could do a little return of that. Um. Well, like I said, I, I started this live with no intention of giving you guys any news or um you know updating you with anything but i uh just wanted to say hi see if you guys had any ideas for next year uh and also just say thank you for a beautiful year it's been i know it's not over just yet but it's been a great year for us all because of you guys so yeah thank you Love the new song. It's fantastic. You're fantastic. Come on. Don't cut my hair. Okay. Ever? Or from this? You know, I've tried the long before and it just, you know, can get a bit heavy. So I don't know how, f how far I can grow it, but we'll... We'll keep it like this for now. See how we get on. Blake, fit check right now. The fit check is... Leather jacket, boots, jeans. That's about it. Quite basic today. You know. But sometimes basic is just exactly what you need. Someone said a wink for us. How did you wink? Did you meet Conan Gray? We did briefly. He was playing on the day after us. So we did go to the show and we did see him. But um, he had obviously a million things he needed to do. So we didn't want to, um, you know, be in his way and be like, hi, we're New Hope Club. You know, let him do his thing. But yeah, it was great. It was a great show. It was very cool to be on a... Uh, Headline, whatever you, festival lineup with him it was very cool for us. You know, he's uh, he's doing so so well at the moment. So it was very cool for us. Love the outfit, says little mup, the mill pack, the mill pack. I'm not sure what that is. If that's your username or your name, but either way. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but thank you. I appreciate it. Your fit is so aesthetic. Wow. Appreciate that. You know. Um, what time is it here? It is 20 past 6. 6.20 p.m. Make a Christmas album. I think that would be so fun. It'd be super fun. But the thing is, is when do you when do you record it? You know, do you record it like now and then release it next Christmas? Or do you do it in like the summertime? But then I don't feel like you'll feel the Christmas vibes. Maybe we've got to go somewhere where there's snow 24-7. Like all 365 days a year and then we can do it any time. But that would be fun. Would it be covers or would it be originals? You know? It's my last name, Le Milpac, says, and says it's okay that I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> Madison M, 2005, says, I should put a pink streak in my hair. 
I mean, I'm not going to say no. It could be exactly what I've been missing all my life, you know? A little pink streak. What about if it was at the back? Just like a little tail of pink. No. Never mind. I dyed my hair green the other day, says Runaway Blake XO. I should do the same. Let's do it. Let's do it. Did you do like a self dye or did you get it done properly? Because I don't think I could do it myself. Um, hello from South Africa. Hello. Dude, football isn't coming home yet. I know. Man, what a stressful game that was. I mean, I really felt like it was our game to win. We were, I think we were the more dominant side. And it's just, it just a shame, you know. Just wasn't our year. It will come home, I promise, at some point. But, I mean, our team is so good now that I'm banking on it next year. Not next year, next in four years' time, you know what I mean? Next World Cup. It's got to happen at some point. Skincare routine. You know, the thing is, is for a while I did... I used to try so much stuff because I used to keep getting these spots, but I think it was from traveling and all this stuff. So then I stopped doing, um, I literally stopped doing anything to my skin, um, which is really supposed to be quite bad for your skin, really. It's supposed to at least moisturize and stuff. Um, but I've got, I've got this thing called, um, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let me get it out. This thing. Now, there's a load of other stuff that you can get with it that I sometimes use. But as a basic, that just little rub on, you know, just kind of just dries up any of, like, any spots you have or anything like that, so... And it's very good for bacteria and we do obviously do a lot of traveling and blah, blah, blah. So it's easy to get like dirt on your skin and stuff. So that cleans it really well. Um, but yeah, yeah. Thank you for uh, joining my uh, skincare routine chat. Um you know, just trying to help out a friend. Might not work for you. The thing is, everyone's skin's different, you know? Some things work for others. Some things don't, so. How do I apply it? So it comes out in like a liquid, um, and I just put it on like a little cotton pad, little wipe over the areas. Don't really touch the forehead. Um, but yeah, that's really is, as much as you, as you do, just literally squirt a bit on, wipe, wipe. Jobs are good and love your eyebrows. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, grew them myself. Um, but thank you. Appreciate that. Nice skincare technique. Thank you. Abby, you making me laugh. Sisters on here, you know, grilling me for my skincare routine. What was your top five this year on Spotify? It was, um, well, apparently I'm in the top 1% of Beatles listeners now. I don't know if this is true, but, you know, that's what they say it is. So that was my number one. Had to obviously listen to them a lot this year because of the film and just because I love them. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I can't remember who else was in it. I think it was like... 
there was a few people on there, if I remember, like Ed Sheeran in my top five, and no disrespect to uh, Ed Sheeran, but I hadn't really listened to him at all this year. Um, so I was a bit confused about that. But, you know, what can you do? Have I listened to Midnight's? Yes, of course. I live on planet Earth. So I've listened to it and very good. Very good. Sorry. Uh, great production. I thought, yeah. I was, I was inspired by it. So, you know, it's good because it makes you think about things and whatnot. So, yeah, I liked it. Um, well, I, before I just ramble and say not a lot, I just want to say again, thank you for your continuous support and, uh, big year to come. Very excited for next year. And, uh, I love you guys. Bye.